Misophonia literally translates to hatred of sound. I can see sadness caressing their faces dearly as it envelops them into a bone crushing hug. Your scars are your medal. You wear them with pride. I don't know, love is life. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Eat soho, for there is a blessing in this scroll. Guys, this is what a sad story looks like. It's what I like it's almost. It's just uh, three in the evening, but just look. Can you see? Like, it's just in the evening, like. But look at how. And they. Like, it has been like this since morning. So, if you don't want sandstorm, and you always hear people in Sudan talking about sandstorm, this is what And sometimes it's really breezy, like, it comes with a very strong wind and all. And then, this is how it looks like. Like, one thing about sandstorm is even the sun is very dim. There's no sun, and it gets a little bit cooler. Like, it gets really cold, not like the normal sunny days in Sudan. That's one thing I love about sandstorm, but what I hate, what I don't like most about sandstorm is that I always have a cold. Whenever there's a sandstorm, then trust me, I either have a cold or I get sore throat, things like I'm allergic to it, so this is it. I just wanted to start this vlog about a day um, a week in my life so this is basically me coming back from filming a video which will probably come up before posting this video and I'm going to get food because it's almost my grip and uh, it's a beautiful day today was much brighter than yesterday yesterday we had sandstorm coming up and uh, today is basically say alhamdulillah it's just, it is much sunny and it's less colder yesterday was really cold and today is warmer than yesterday so i'm on my way to go get food and then i'll come i'll come back to the hostel and uh, we'll see i don't really have much going on but i'll try as much as possible to have to see that i have some activities or something going on i'll just take you guys along on this journey so i'll just keep you guys posted okay Okay, hey guys, I am back. I just remembered, like, I have, I just came back, I just got food, and uh, I remembered I have this interfaculty debate coming soon. It's from LDEC. Um, LDEC is a community that, it's an organization or a movement that, you know, when you're in Sudan, you mostly speak either, you speak Arabic, and if you are with people from your country, you speak your native language. Most of the times, we either speak Arabic or our native language. We hardly speak English. So if you're in Sudan, your English language tends to, like, it gets away. I would I would say, like, you just forget some words. You'll be running out of words sometimes when you speak. If you notice, like, sometimes in my video, I'll be like, what's the word? And then I'll just pop it up on the screen while editing. So things like this happen. So we, LDEC started. It's just... A medium for us to come and discuss topics topics socio-economical topics you know topics that affect the society but we have a rule it has to be non-religious and non-political because we don't want to go against anything we don't do because people have um different beliefs so we don't want to want it to be like chaotic so the director started it then i was just a member and each week, I'm actually looking forward to any discussion class that we have. Now, in LDAC, um, we have a set of discussion classes. We had a book review, which we left it on hold because, um, because of some problems. But then we're going to bring a lot of activities into the movement moving forward. So we, they organized this interfaculty debate coming up. And I happen to represent my faculty in the inter 
faculty debate, fingers crossed. I kind of um, went to the, the president of the Nigerian students in my school is from pharmacy, the faculty of pharmacy. So in the group we were discussing, I just told him like, you just make sure that you have your team prepared because we're going to take you down. And he said, we'll see about it. So now like, I'm kind of nervous. Why did I even make that statement? I was like, confident of my faculty. Yes, I am. I am so confident of my faculty that I had to boast like that in the group. But then now I'm like, Rooks, why did you say that? I'm not scared, but I just felt like I shouldn't have said it. Well, I was just saying it to challenge them then because um, people were somehow hesitant. So if they see that I'm trying to challenge the, the president, they would be like, wow, we need. So I just told them that uh, I kind of challenged him in order for them to be like, okay, if she's challenging the president, then we need to get prepared. That was just the idea behind it. So I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be on Saturday. Today is Thursday. So it's going to be on Saturday. I'll keep you guys posted. And then we'll meet again, hopefully. Yeah, apart from that, I think I have some uh, event also coming up. I'm busy with Black Rose. I'm busy with... Uh, I think pretty much that's it. Mostly it's the debate and then some other things coming up along the way. I'll just keep you guys posted to see how things go by. All right. Today like was the last day of Carfela. Carfela is like a field work or IT industrial tra um, training. Carfela is mostly they take um, students out to various places like villages outside town for them to celebrate. Um, sorry, for them to like practice what they do if they are from faculty of education, they take them to villages to, che to teach primary school kids. And then if they're from may maybe medicine or nursing, dentistry, med lab, these faculties, they take them to hospitals in their villages. And other faculties, like they carry out a lot of, they just give back to their society. That's the idea behind Gafila. But due to COVID and some circumstances here, this year they decided to just host it in the school, in the masjid. And the Gafila is not just for them to go and practice and give back. They, the students also get to like do some activities. They read, they read Quran, they teach themselves. They do like da'wah. Uh, da'wah is like the students give lecture. Uh, things like this. So they are actually interesting. But this year it has been cancelled and it's the graduation class that we're supposed to go. It's been cancelled for almost like I think um, two to three years. I was supposed to go to Kafila when I was in third year, first semester holiday, but we didn't because the, the country was unstable then. There were a lot of mudahara going on, which is protest in English. So it wasn't safe for, for them to take us. So now that we are going to fifth year, when we graduate, I think on maybe next semester holiday, we'll go on our own. But for this year, it's for those who have graduated and they have not gone. They held it here in the Jamia. So maybe the Jamia looks a little bit chaotic along the way. Or maybe during my video that I shot about marriage in um, Ariwa. So if you hear any noise, just know that it's from Kafila. And I'm just here coming. I am citing my favorite place on my way to the hostel. And I'm going to stop and give you guys a tour or maybe I'll leave it till tomorrow it's me again um today is saturday and it's around 10 a.m i have a class here at um faculty of computer so oh, this place is dark so i guess we'll meet after the class then i am actually quite late a little well fashionably late but i figured out like i gotta keep you guys posted and i'm just very close to the place so, I guess we'll meet after the class. I don't think I have anything interesting to do today after this class. So, I'm going to, mostly I'll be write, writing content and, uh, yeah, mostly content search. And pretty much that's it. And then just run some errands and that's it pretty much. I don't have anything going on today. So, we'll meet after the class. Bye!
um hey it's me again it appears i'm not late so i'm just going to have to wait for a little bit before they open up the place and then get to work i think uh, i'm going to meet you guys after this class and then i'll get something fun to do today if i don't get it then along the week it's probably going to do the debate competition i told you guys about today it, it has been um, postponed to I think Thursday. We are not sure of the date because there is um, electrical instability here. So we gotta, we need to set our date based on the days that we're going to get electricity because we have short power. Yeah, we just have a problem with the electricity here. So I'll keep you guys posted. I've not yet. Um, when I heard it was postponed, I was trying to get some things ready, but then. I just stopped preparing for it because I mean I don't want to prepare and then forget everything along the way. I just want it to be still fresh with me and then we'll go and, and we'll see how it goes. So I'll I will see you guys. Guys, I am back. Uh, well, I know I have. I just came back from class, freshen up, and then okay, I should remove this probably. Yeah, I just freshen up and uh, I am going to shoot another video. Let me guys tell you what happened with my other clips. I came, I shot the, I think from the first year I started this vlog, I was coming back from shoot, from filming a video. Then after I shot the video, when I was editing, after all that, um, the trauma that, I, well not trauma, let's not be too dramatic. Like after what happened, I didn't record what I was filming. When I was editing, I just found out like the other clips I shot when I recorded again, it wasn't like up to, I felt like I could do better. It was not up to the standards of what I should have been shooting. Then now I'm going to shoot another one. Hopefully, I hope this turns out better than what I did because I mean, I just want to film this and know that uh, I'm done with filming for the topic then move on to something else today is not that cold but i feel cold like i easily feel cold that's why i'm wearing this jacket i'm wearing the hoodie so let me guys show you my favorite place on this um on my way to the hostel like there's this spot can we see can we all see it uh, no, no 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 i think it's over here i love this part because it's quiet there's nobody there and you can just sit down like and relax so i think i'm going to sit for a while before going out yeah can we all see this like i love the trees i love everything about it just look at this place you guys i mean come on who doesn't like peaceful places like this it's my favorite place actually i had I have some clips I'll insert about this place, why I love it, but I'll just start. Maybe I wouldn't. This is my favorite place on my way to the hostel. Like this is what we call the Sirat al Mustaqim. It's the straight path. Like it's a direct translation. <laughs> like, yeah, you can see it's very straight and kind of long. This is it. I know it's not that clear like you can't get the full picture but this is my favorite spot to sit like the place is very cool no matter how hot sudan is if you sit here you, especially when they water these um, plants behind me there are some plants that they water and they water these trees also the place is cool the breeze is cool not the normal hot breeze that blows in sudan this place is really cool it's nice sometimes i find it relaxing when i'm coming back from class i sit here and i relax especially when i'm hungry or when i'm like when i'm so stressed stressed out from class i just come and sit here on my before i reach the hostel just for me to relax and enter the hostel with a clear mind without being annoyed being like angry or anything i just sit here relax myself calm myself down and then get into the hostel and hopefully get something to eat because when i'm angry and when i'm stressed and when i'm hungry you don't want to see me like I don't talk much but you don't you just don't want to see my facial expression but when i sit here it calms me down and then you enter with a 
new mindset with a relaxed mindset and you you'll just somehow like you know relax yourself down so this is it i love this place especially when the birds are chirping when you sit here in the morning you just have a chat with the nature you, you listen to the birds sing there are some birds that actually stay here in the morning they are very beautiful when you see them they are so fascinated because like they have tiny legs but their color they're like brown white and black i just love those little birds like they'll just be moving around here they don't actually come close to people but they'll be moving around and looking at them i just feel like i love this and i enjoy it so here's my little place my little happy place that i found well, it's not just me, it's almost everybody. Like, you just find people sitting randomly here. And it's quite nice, especially when the birds are chirping. And it's a hot afternoon, you get to relax. So I'm going to film another video. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we do better than what we did last. So, I'm logging out of this vlog. See you guys. Bye. So after much ice cream hunt, I had I finally settled here. The first place I went, they were having a function, so I had to get out because like they're having a ceremony there. I went upstairs. They don't have what I want. I wanted ice cream in the first place, but then seeing like it's a little bit cold, I settled for a milkshake, and they don't have it. So there's a place just across the hostel. I just came down there to get my ice cream. And it's coming right up in a little while.